Hello YouTube, this is Magic, and I'm here to bring you another video regarding Blackwing Lair uh, Attunement. And I'm going to do this as sort of a two-parter, one on this character and one on my paladin, in order for me to uh, show people how to solo Razor Gore, the first boss, in Blackwing Lair as a paladin. Um, it should be pretty easy, but for those who don't know, it can be kind of a pain in the butt, but since uh, release of new patches, Blizzard has allowed people to be able to solo it now. It's before you needed at least two people to do it. So, if you're going to farm tier 2 Judgment Armor for your Paladin, you might as well get the Attunement, because you're not going to get it on the first try. And if you do, I would love to get your Lotto number picks, personally, because that's just impossible. So to begin with, we're here in the Molten Span in Burning Steppies. And to begin our entire whole attunement fiasco, we're going to head off northeast to kill Quest Mob that drops a special item that you require in order to get attunement and easy access to Black Wing Lair. So I'm here on my warrior, jumping around, hippity hoppity, headed towards that guy. Oops, where is he? Quartermaster. Yeah. I'm just gonna pick up the item pants. Oop. I forgot to turn off auto loot, but Black Hands Command. I'm gonna pick that up. I'm gonna accept the quest. If I can find it. But while I'm looking for it, let's walk on back to Upper Black Rock Spire. Where is that? Jeez. Oh, there it is. Very top. Alright, so here we go. We're going to enter Block Rock Spire. And in order to complete the attunement, you only need to kill three bosses. And then you need to touch something at the uh, behind the last boss. And uh, it's not that hard. Um, I mean, if you're 90, if you're 80, if you're 70, it's, well, maybe 70. You can solo it. But it's just uh, kind of time consuming because a lot of the bosses are like, uh, have to charge up my laser. And so, like this room, you just have to clear out all the orcs. You don't have to touch any of the dragons. And once you do that, you'll clear, it will open the next door. So, I'll probably edit this falling footage or zip it up. I don't know. Oh, this is so much easier than on my rogue. I mean, not that it's hard, but it just takes less time with my warrior. Thank you, Whirlwind. Thank you. So we're going to keep walking up here. And you come to your first boss, Pyroguard Emberseer. No. Yeah. Yeah, I was right. You're going to click on this altar for a little bit until those orcs stop channeling that one flame elemental. Once you, do, once you start attacking one, they'll come attack you, and then it'll be boss time eventually. Let's see. Toss! I'm gonna gather up all my friends here. Uh oh. Kind of rage. There we go. Alright, he's gonna charge up his laser, so I'm probably gonna cut this part out as well. So yeah, we're still waiting. Still waiting. Still waiting. Oh, he's finally free! He's gonna attack us! Let's Love that. All right. Let's see if I can jump past these guys. Whee! All right. This is where you get your Leroy achievement. But for our, for time's sake, I'm gonna skip that. I'm gonna charge to these guys. Put them in the ground. Ooh, I'm so good at this game. Being these level 58 mobs. You just know I'm a winner. Which is why you guys are subscribed to me, right? Right? Alright. So we head up here. You're going to jump it down into the stadium. And then you're just going to begin your second boss fight with Rend. Nothing important. It just takes a long time. He sends wave after wave of his own men at you. And then you take care of those waves after waves of his own men. And then he pops out. So I'll probably like skip through this, fast forward if I know how, figure out how to do it on Windows Media Ma Movie Maker or something. 
but uh, anyway, I'll just keep talking here. You guys can uh, go fix yourself a sandwich or something, you know. Oh, oh, there he goes. He's hopping on his mount. He's hopping on his drake. I'm gonna get into my battle stance. Warrior stance. I want you, man. I want you. I will end you. End you. All right. With that cleared, that's the second boss. We're gonna exit out this door. You're gonna see, see if I can find it. Yeah. Whoop. Nope, nope. Other way. Huh? Yeah. Other way. Over here. X is for you. We're gonna edit that part out. We're gonna keep moving. And I think they actually nerfed this guy for some reason. They didn't want him uh, disorienting lobies who get this lucky gem of a uh, dungeon. Oh, come on. Nothing? I'm a samurai. Undead samurai. Alright, let's kill Draxap. Alright. And we'll just like follow this fool. And he's done. I get an achievement. Probably you will too. And then here we are. That's all you need to do. Click on this. Two mint. Done. Next, I'll probably edit this out and just show you how to get inside Blackwing Lair. It's right next to the entrance of Upper Black Rock Spire. And we're back. Here we are, outside of Upper Black Rock Spire, and I'm just going to show you where you're going to go once you finish that. And from now on, whenever you want to get him to Black Wing Lair, you just have to click on this. Oh my god, can you guys leave me alone? Leave me alone. Leave me alone. All you're going to do is click on this Orb of Command, and you'll be magically transported inside of Black Rock Lair. You're set. Demonstrate. All right, here we go. And yeah, we're inside now. There we go. That will be your first boss, Razor Gore the Untamed, which I'll deal in my next video with a little help from my paladin friend. And we're gonna show you how to solo this guy as retribution. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Um, hit like, subscribe, favorite, whatever. You know, or not? That's cool. I think, I think we're pretty cool about that. If you want, you know. All right, bye guys. This is Magic signing out. I'm angry. I'm on fire. Cause I'm on angry.